Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. Like I told you in my video the other day, I wanted to cover a few of the topics that I missed over the time that I was not making videos, especially over the Thanksgiving holiday. As you see here, here is a picture from USA Today of Kyle Rittenhouse crying his fake little crocodile tears on the stand. As we all remember, probably by now, Rittenhouse here was found not guilty of murder after killing two and shooting one and, and wounding another, claiming self-defense. Now, why is it that people think he was guilty? Well, maybe because they watched the videos of him blowing people away when he wasn't even being touched. Yes, I do believe one of his victims ended up pulling a weapon towards the end there. The first guy he shot didn't. The first guy he shot through a bag at him. An empty bag. Boom, boom. Dead. Another person went to disarm him. Shielded himself with a skateboard. Boom. Murdered. And then the other guy tried to stop him by putting a gun on him. He shot him. He shot him too. So tell me how anybody sees him as an innocent person. I've seen all these people on Facebook saying, see, he was innocent. They say OJ was innocent too. But this guy here, you can tell by looking at him here, his fake tears, his fake crying, not one bit of water coming out of those eyes. Not one tear being shed. Just a bunch of fake, I'm in trouble, crying. And then he had his Tucker Carlson interview. And of course, with the Tucker Carlson interview, you could tell he didn't, he wasn't feeling remorse for what he did. He wasn't feeling bad for killing the, those two people. He didn't feel bad for what he did. And no, the people he killed were not upstanding citizens. But he had no reason to kill them. He didn't know their past. He didn't know their history. These people didn't cause him any harm. Nobody hit him. Nobody punched him. Just people being stupid. And trying to get that gun off of him before he hurt somebody. Kyle Rittenhouse is not the hero that the right is making him out to be. And maybe he's not the de the devil that the left's making him out to be. I don't know. But I, I still think he's guilty. Now we have to live with the results of the trial. If the trial says he was not guilty, then that's what we get. Not guilty. But I don't buy it. I believe that the judge was far too chummy with him. I, I believe that it was a, a kangaroo court to begin with. I don't believe he was ever going to be convicted, even though, clearly, he killed these people. But the fact is, he's been found not guilty. And so we have to move on from that, right? Now, I'm hoping he'll be facing some wrongful death lawsuits from the families in the near future, especially since he says he wants to sue people like Joe Biden um, for calling him out for being a white supremacist when he was hanging out with the Proud Boys. I'm sorry, if you hang out with the Proud Boys, you're guilty by association because they are white supremacists. He was there hanging out with a group of Proud Boys at a local bar known to be frequented by the Proud Boys. Also, he had mentioned just a few weeks before the, the, the shooting event in Kenosha 
about how he saw a black person stealing something and just wished he could shoot him dead. That was on his social media. Nobody made that up. But the one thing we have to do, though, because we we have to move on. We have to move forward. And what do we have to do to move forward? He's, we got to let him move forward, too. He was found not guilty. He gets to go on and live his life. And I'm hearing some things that makes... I understand people being upset about it. But they've got students, apparently, at um, University of Phoenix, I guess, where he's trying to do his nursing stuff, who want him kicked off the program because of his... Because of his involvement in that event. But I don't think that's the right way to go. Whether you like the guy, you support the guy, you think he's guilty, you think he was innocent, you think he was self-defense, you don't. He should get to go on and live his life. As much as it pained me, that's what we need to do. Because that's how our system is supposed to work. When you're found not guilty, you're supposed to get to move on. Whether or not you did it or not. And I think by going off and trying to get a degree in nursing, I think that's reasonable. I think that is a good path to, for someone to put themselves on in order to have a decent life ahead of them. So why stop him from bettering himself? By letting him better himself, it lessens the possibility that he'll be out there doing the same stuff again. Whether you like him or not, it's just how it is. Anyways, let me think. Let me know what you think in the comments about the guilty or the not guilty verdict. Do you think he was guilty? Do you think he was self-defense? Let me know in the comments what you think. Anyways, have a great day. I'll see you down the road.